one of the first things that I recommend when you get the system is to come to the system admin auto save page and set up auto save if you've got a hardware system you, you're typically going to auto save to a USB flash disk and if you have a virtual system you're typically going to save to an F FTP uh, uh, server somewhere okay. I recommend that you enable this auto save for one method or the other you could set it up for both methods okay but what this does is uh, it backs up your your uh, the database for the storage concentrator so let's say uh, let's say you've got real hardware and, and uh, your OS disk fails or the motherboard fails or, or any of the hardware fails you know uh, and you have to recreate it you, re you would restore using the information that's saved so it's a, it's a system configuration basically it's a, and it's you, system yeah. configuration yeah you save your system configuration so if you it would be like a brand new install that you might have then you restore the system configuration and then you will have all your configuration preserved so and you can move the one configuration to another configuration by just having or another system by just having your system configuration and you will be able to access the data it was the way it was you configured the volumes and everything else that you have right i mean this this can be used by uh okay i want to i want to upgrade my system uh to a new system uh the storage it's still going to be this you know I'm, I'm, I'm only upgrading the system I'm not upgrading the storage this, this storage is fairly new so you know you just take and load the software on the on the new uh, uh, system and then restore from the backup and everything's running okay. and the restorer is where you would use that information okay connect to whichever uh, device you're 